bring in the money desk. Rupiwa Madzena joins us once more. Rupiwa, hi. Um, you're going to be speaking about Santam and insurance claims, particularly in the era of load shedding. It's mm -hmm. a real burden, isn't it? It's a huge burden on the short-term insurance, Sally. Uh, and Santam is just one of many that have been impacted. So it's South Africa's largest short-term insurer, uh, which may have been able to sell more policies in 2022, but like many other insurers around the world, it's um, operating in a difficult environment. In addition to that, uh, there's been higher inflation and operating costs and, of course, the power cuts. The group CEO, Tava Madzinga, joins us this evening to discuss their numbers uh, further. Very good evening to you, uh, Tava, and thank you for, very, for joining us this evening. Let's start with uh, that record of insurance claims that were made in the financial year that we're talking about this evening. Almost uh, 30 billion. And Rand, uh, no doubt a little bit of a sore pointer for the company. Good evening, uh, Rufio. Good evening, listeners. Um, I think, from our perspective, certainly 2022 was an incredibly difficult year, and we've called it the perfect storm. As you saw, we saw the KZN floods. Um, you know, we also saw claims inflation um, up significantly. Um, very difficult. Um, you know, investment market environment. Um, theft claims were also up, and we've also seen some increase in load shedding claims. So, a very difficult operating environment across the board. And so, you know, we've paid a record 29.8 billion um, in claims in the year 2022, which is the largest amount that we've paid in the history of this company. But I think it is important that it must be said that. Um, you know, this is what we exist to do, um, mm -hmm. you know, to assist our clients and to pay, um, you know, these sort of claims to, to help the rebuild, as we've seen in KZN, and to help our clients through these very difficult times. And so while the um, absolute number of the claims is, is, is high, um, you know, we've also gone on to pay a dividend to our shareholders. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've seen a significant improvement in the performance of the company in the second half of, of, of the year. So across the board, a fair result. Um, difficult as it was, but still still manageable for us. Mm, I suppose what's uh, encouraging about the set of numbers, Tava, is the fact that you did uh, manage to sell more policies. So more and more people seeing the importance of uh, taking up uh, short-term insurance in whatever form it might be offered in. But I want us to talk a little bit more about the load shedding and the impact that that's had on the business. Uh, the claims, uh, are you able to quantify for us in, um, the load shedding related claims, uh, but also has Suntime, like other insurers, uh, had to update their policies when it comes to claiming uh, because of load shedding. So we've certainly seen an increase in, uh, you know, what we call power surge claims, and that started to come through in 2022. Um, and, and I think from our perspective, you know, we've paid close to 30 billion in claims. And, you know, the actual quantum of uh, what we call power surge claims, it really is fractional compared to the multitude of perils that we're dealing with. So the real big numbers were, you know, in KZN with the floods, the inflation impact on, on our business. Um, but I, I know that the load shedding, um, you know, topic is currently, you know, quite, quite topical. And so, yes, like everybody else, we are very concerned uh, about the broad macroeconomic impact that load shedding does have. Um, but we at Santam fundamentally still believe that um, power surge is still an insurable peril that we still do cover for our personal lines and also for our commercial policies. What we are concerned is the systemic losses that could arise um, from grid failure as a whole. And I think in that respect, um, you know, we are, you know, providing a level of clarity that that is not something that you know we would we would be covering and that's also off the back of the fact that our global reinsurers that support our business are uncomfortable with mm. systemic risks um particularly around grid grid failure yeah and so with that what would you say is the outlook uh, uh, for the business Tava? you have mentioned in your results today that higher costs are for uh, certain products when claims are made those have increased because of inflation um input costs are higher uh, and then we've just spoken about the power uh, the power issues uh, what would you say is the medium-term prospects for Santam uh, on that backdrop? So, Rafael, we're operating off a very solid, um, you know, stable financial platform. Um, you know, we expect this level of volatility when dealing with short-term business. And so we talk about our earnings operating within a margin uh, of 5 to 10 percent. And so from our perspective, these results are not outside of our expectation. 
Um, in fact, if anything, um, if we look at the performance of our company in the second half of the year, um, that performance was up um, significantly on the first half of the year. And so from our perspective, while there are many um, you know, factors that affected our performance in 2022, um, these factors from our perspective are largely manageable. And so we've maintained our outlook for the future, you know, cautiously optimistic, um, but we do believe that, you know, our performance, you know, will, will continue in, in the ranges that we've guided, you know, to our investors. And, you know, for our clients uh, across the country, you know, we'll continue to provide them, you know, with coverage. And so they are assured um, that in these difficult times that we're very mindful of the pressures that they're facing, and we'll certainly play our part and role in helping them to navigate and deal with adverse circumstances that may come their way. Mm, cautiously optimistic, you and many other operators in South Africa's landscape at the moment. Thank you very much for your time this evening. That is Tavaziva Madzinga, who is sometimes Group Chief Executive. And that's